Hello and welcome to Lord Nerd Review. Today we're doing the Bandai Figure Eye Standard Dragon Ball Z kits. This is the DX set of two Vegeta and Trunks. Trunks comes with. I two made notes. that. Trunks, 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 trunks. Lena made trunks. Important note. Anyway, Trunks comes with two heads and three faces. Vegeta comes with one head and two faces. I feel like they could have added in that extra black hair because they haven't added one in yet. And what is the point of a DX set if they don't add in more stuff? Anyway, moving on. You get one standard action base with two, three, three, three connectors. One clear plastic one for Vegeta, one solid blue one for Vegeta. It's more of a butt plug. And you get a claw diaper nappy type thing for trunks. For a butt plug and a diaper. Butt plug and a diaper. Yeah. Yes, Bandai Japan, you are a strange creature. Okay, so for Vegeta, the key blast effect for either the Gallic Gun or the Final Flash or any of them, really. As you can see, the two pairs of hands have a standard board joint on them. The only one which is different is that, because it comes with a little hinge. Vegeta's face is made up of four separate parts. I don't know what you've got. The eyebrows, the eyes, the eyes white. The whites of the eyes, right? Yeah. And then um, the face. Yeah, four parts. No painting required here, actually. So yeah, that's Vegeta. Let's move on to Drunks. He has Trunks, he comes with his hedgehog head, you know, stand Super Saiyan bangs, three faces, you know, pointy, pointy it is, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, be careful. Do not try and smush that down too much when you're building it. It is like squishing a knife. Right, so you get the flashy hands, cupping hands, sword holding hand, and smug face. Have you noticed how Vegeta and Trunks almost look the same? Yeah. Yeah, they do, it's don't just they? just the hairline that's different. Really. Yeah, one's got a receding hairline and one doesn't. Mm -hmm. you got I mean, trunks here. I'm gonna check. Yeah, look at that. Exactly the same. Except the smug. Yeah. Well, if you add the shouting faces together, that you'll realise that they're exactly the same. Let's move on to the key blast. You have your key blasts. I mean, they're exactly the same, minus a few details from putting them together. Vegeta's, which is this one, comes with the lightning effects, Trunks doesn't. This one comes with three pointy things, sharp warning. This one comes with a whole bunch of pointy things. I think this is the Masenka, or this is the Masenka. Comment below if you know. Not that anyone actually does. This could be the Gallic Gun, or it could be the Final Flash. Let's find out. So, let's go on to playability and posability. With trunks, you get a nice ball joint, which is on a hinge as well, so you can make him do sassy sass pose. Like, you know my dad, add the same prince now. Yep, and you can make his arm go up this far, and the other one exactly the same. He is on a single jointed elbow, but the elbow does, that's the whole arm. The elbow does rotate 360 degrees if you don't mind the sword getting in the way. Comes down this far, goes up this far, swivel ball at the wrist. Not much of a wrist movement there, but enough to get the point across. See, now he looks like he's about to do the dance. Yeah, that dance. So, comment <laughs> and... Let me know if you want to see more of Lena's awesome dancing skills from the first video. Let's, let's see whether we can get it done, guys. Come on. So, arm, roll, hinge. Look at that. Strongest man in the world. For his stomach, you get this. And only this. He can do this. Hula hoops. Hula hoops. Hula hoops. Hula hoops. Oh. Hula hula hula. <laughs> oh, man. Huh? Right. <laughs> I scared the shell on I thought I'd do something wrong. Right, so his leg can go up that high. He can go up that far. Looks like he's about to kick his dad. I'm not going to. But it does expose the joints, which I don't mind. It is a model kit. It's not really meant to look seamless. Although there are some guys out there that would disagree. His 
Me can bend like so. Even though it is a single joint, you still get the same rough posability you would from something with a double joint. You get a nice swivel here, but it's a limited swivel. Can only swivel so far. And a rocker ball joint which goes down that far and up that far. And that is trunks. The sword does pull out. There you go. It is in a plain white plastic. Does require painting. If that's your deal. If not, you can always hit it with a Gundam marker if you have one in silver and brown. It is one solid piece of plastic. There is no building required here. You just gotta clip it out. Unlike the uh, SH figure arts that like to cheat you and give you four separate pieces just for the sword. This actually goes in to the holder. There you go. Bingo! Bingo! So, Vegeta comes with his nice screaming slash bingo face. If you've seen Resurrection of F, I'm not sure. So, yeah. No, it wasn't Resurrection of F, was it? It was Battle of the Gods. Yes, indeed. The one we first when you see Beerus, yes, he's like, <gasps> My yeah. yeah. So you get the screaming face, which I think is better than the smug face. Smug face kind of sucks. But you can rip the whole head off, and oh my god, it's nothing. So you put the head back on. It's the same for him, except his ball joint stays in. So let's get into the playability. As you can see, as I was messing around with his head, it's quite natural. You can do some really nice things. This is what I like to call Yoga Vegeta. If you've ever seen those uh, 80s to 90s yoga dance videos on YouTube. Yeah, we just want to get a nice rocking joint to like retro wave music. That's it. He has the same type of butterfly joint, just not as extensive. Really nice armor, actually, I do say so. But you end up getting a really, really, really big gap if you play with him too much. It's fine. I'm just plug him back down. So, ball joint here. He can do a 360 degree. Bring it out, spin it around, 360 degree at the bicep. Nothing at the elbow this time, it's a single joint. You do get Vegeta's really tiny baby fist. Principal saying of the baby fist. Yeah, so let's move on to the torso. You get a nice swivel. And a almost swivel. He can do the splits, which is more than I can say for trunks. And you can hang. And it's true. It's and you can make him do the bingo kick as he did in the oh 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 no what was that oh okay that wasn't what i thought it was right so you get the high kick here really easy to do actually single joint but with a nice degree of the bend be careful with the boots because they do want to open the toe goes back that far toe goes up that far, boot falls off that far, no swivel here. That sounds terrible, I'm gonna stop bending it because it sounds like it's about to snap off. Butt plug hole, no butt cheeks. Vegeta forgot squatting day. And yeah, so that's the playability for Vegeta and before I break him in half. Now, let's make trunks go from normal to Super Saiyan. Just plop that off. Hope he doesn't fall over, but you did. And then... Drop the head! <laughs> <laughs> you dropped the head. It's on her! That's what he looks like in Super Saiyan mode. But, uh. Cool. Cool. Alright, so I'm gonna attempt the switch. This head. This one. Just grab it here. That's, oh, actually came off quite easily this time. And uh, flip it in there. There we go. Boom! 
blum 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 let's go up here and let's focus cool let's try it on oh that's nice smoke a smack you know what I like Vegeta is smaller than trunks they're both along the six inch line range they will fit in with other action figures, they won't fit in with the SS figure ones because they are really small. Here's a size comparison against another action figure that's six inches. Commander Gree, who seems to be smaller. He is a little bit smaller. But the other two are spiky here. No, it's not that. Their faces match up, I guess. But the shoulder mm. line is slightly lower than Trunks. Trunks is tallest. He has longer legs. Yeah, he does. So there you go. Trunks is a big boy. Thank you for joining us today. Please like, share and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.